Yo, what's up? Nothing. Happy to have you on the show. Um, we just got okay. a few questions for you here. I'm basically doing this off the top of my head. But first off, what, what do you think about the NFL lockout? Uh, well, I mean, it's, sad. it's it's really, I mean, it sucks, but at the same time, it's businesses. You know, everybody's a business for everybody, so you can't tell somebody they can't lock the doors on the employees, but. At the same time, I mean, we'd love to be back playing, and, you know, in due time. Talking to Travis Johnson, the San Diego Chargers, um, a few things else in the NFL. Plexico Burris, um, he's getting back into the league. Would you want your team to sign someone like Plexico? Oh, of course. He's a great guy. He's a great person. I mean, just because you make mistakes, I mean, don't, I don't think that takes away from the type, uh, type of man you are or type of player you are. I would love to, uh, if I had my own team, I mean, he'd be one of the first guys I'd sign, besides Phillip Rivers and, and the rest of my Chargers teammates. Yeah, I, I agree. I think he's a tremendous, tremendous player. Well, do you have any questions you want to ask him? Yeah, back to the NFL lockout. Do you, do you know when you think that you have, like, predicted time or week or when you think it's, you're going to get uh, back? To not really. I mean, the same thing The same things that y'all hear on Sports Center is the same exact things that we hear, so... As far as have a prediction, no, nah, we don't. I mean, I wish I did know, you know, because then I I do an over and under and probably go to Vegas or something and bet on it. But uh, you know, we hear the same things y'all hear. Ah, uh, for the Chargers now, long term for this or for this season, what do you guys think you can go win a Super Bowl? Oh, of course, of course. I think I mean we have all the tools. We have, you know. Like I said, once we get everything working on, clicking on the same cylinder, and once we get everybody working together in all three phases of the game, then I think we'll be successful. Now, a guy that played on your team and was extremely successful and has fallen out because of injuries, he's now with Buffalo, is Sean Merriman. Do you think Sean will ever regain his form? Oh, yeah, I think so, because Sean's a hard worker. I mean, you know, me and Sean have known each other for a while, so as far as, you know, I... I, I really believe that he can be back. You know what I mean? So I just I think you just continue hard work and continued effort. I think he'll be successful again and be a pro bowler again. Okay, uh, this is a little off topic, but I'm sure you hear about it. LeBron James, the NBA Finals. What is your opinion on LeBron James? First of all, I mean I I, I love watching LeBron. I hope they win. I, I mean to be honest with you, I really believe they're gonna win the next two games anyway because. I mean, they got they just got more weapons, but at the same time, I think they need to all focus, all come out there to play. I think LeBron needs to stop settling for jump shots and take it to the basket every play. If in my opinion, Man, you should you should be an analyst on our show. I agree. Um, you, final question: Next season, if the would an eight game season that's something they're talking about? Do you think that would be worth having? Yeah, I mean, football period is worth having. If it's eight games, eight games, and I play regardless. I mean. It's, you know, this game is, is a game we love, so I think if it was eight games, y'all would still watch an eight-game season, and we'll still play eight-game season. So right now, we just want to play football. Either way, eight games, four games, two games, no matter what, we just want to play. We got one more question for you. Sorry, um, what, what do you think about having two more games this season? Is that good, bad? What are your opinions on that? Two more games, what, eight to no, that's too many. Eight yeah, games, I agree. Eight games. Because I mean, guys, guys, are, like, guys are barely making it through 16, let alone 18. Yeah, I, I agree, I agree. Travis, thanks a lot for your time. All right, man. Everybody follow me at TrapJ99 on Twitter.